Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yesterday, Bitcoin started to sell off from that potential B wave top that we discussed. Um, and it might be that we are now in the C wave to the downside. Okay, so it's it could be forming finally this head and shoulders pattern that we are watching for here on the daily chart. So that means while we're tracking an overall bullish scenario, um, it seems likely to accept or expect primarily further lower prices on the Bitcoin chart. Is it guaranteed? No. And we are still in a range in which we might get caught in the chop, which means Bitcoin might surprise to the upside. That is not, that cannot be ruled out. However, let's take a look at the shorter time frame to get some clarity or at least as much as we can have. So we're going to take a look now at this section that I just showed you on the daily chart here. Um, this move up of the 11th of September lows. Is it possible that on the 11th of September, a lasting low of this correction has been established and we're now moving up to 40 to 50K? Yes, but I will not confirm that without further evidence. I wanna see a five wave move to the upside and a three wave pullback. As you know, at the moment we haven't got that. We only have three waves up and this move down comes already too deep. To be reliable for from a bullish point of view okay um, at the moment it seems uh, likely that the move up here into the October highs was just a W X Y structure of a B wave and that we're now coming down in wave C this is still the expectation targeting round about 22 to 24k this is unchanged and let me just make a change here so um, this is overall an unchanged expectation and since yesterday's last update, the price has really barely moved. The primary scenario is still the yellow wave count. I have to say more directly, I, I'm not happy with how the microstructures are moving here. Very unreliable microstructures and it doesn't make any sense to, to show you an, a more detailed Elliott wave count because it just doesn't give us that clarity at the moment okay so there is there is usually a limit sometimes depending on how the structure looks like there's a limit of how detailed you can go with your wave count and still keep it somewhat reliable uh, anything that's smaller than what i show you here doesn't make any sense at the moment okay so we have the yellow wave count which should um, allow the price to sell off lower next to 26k but in the yellow wave count we should quite rapidly break below the um, 26k level and then 25.3k and go lower okay so we're currently holding below the trend line and i would use that trend line as an indication as to whether the yellow wave count is playing out or not my view is there's a good chance that in the yellow wave count we should stay below the trend line which means if we break above the trend line there is a signal that something different might be playing out, okay? What could be that <laughs> different? What could be the different count? The different count is the orange one, okay? Um, so in the yellow one, we basically completed a one, we completed a wave two, and we are now in the third wave down. Again, that should take us closer to 25.3K, actually quite rapidly, right? Possibly even lower. Yeah, pretty, pretty, well, yeah, most likely lower because if we really completed already a one two setup, then the third of a third wave should be unfolding. But I would like to see quite a rapid sell off over the coming sessions. Bear in mind today we've got CPI data. I don't expect too much movement as a result of CPI, but some short term volatility maybe. And if we don't see that rapid sell off, then the orange wave count will get more likely. The orange wave count is simply a diagonal structure which would also eventually take us into the region between 22 to 24K, but um, it would do that in a much more choppy structure. So it could be that we are either close to completing circle wave three here, or we completed it already. We should see a larger fourth wave recovery into the region between 27.2K and 27.6 basically. And as long as we are not breaking above resistance, we should still get another low afterwards. So primary is the yellow. However, if we break above the trend line and get into the resistance area, then I'm focusing on orange. 
There is currently no clear bullish setup on the chart or bullish scenario. I did mention that yesterday. Someone asked me, okay, so is there no bullish option? Well, there are, there are a lot of bullish options, but they are just not very evident in the chart. So instead of just showing you something here, I mean, that's why we track resistance, right? You need to understand that if resistance breaks, something more bullish is playing out. But I don't just want to show you something. Um, it needs to be based on data, okay? And um, if I'm showing you a bullish count, I want to have a, a valid or let's say a clear bullish count. If I show you a bullish wave count now and it doesn't work out, it would be pointless. So just be aware of resistance. And if resistance breaks, I will bring a bullish possibility onto the chart. But um, what is in my opinion, not very likely is a so-called one, two, one, two setup. A few people ask me, it just doesn't, it just doesn't add up with the structure, but also um, looking at the length of the second wave one. Yeah? I mean, technically it's of course valid, but it's just not very likely. And we are now basically where the price would need to turn around in third wave rally. Okay. So one, two, one, two, and the third wave rally to come. Is it likely? Not without further evidence. And to be honest, the move of the low looks very corrective. So yeah, any any break below yesterday's low should send us now to 26K. Um, anything else? Anything else? Um, no, just be aware we only have three waves down, right? So it can, of course, always fail this bearish setup and um, turn around, right, with three waves down. But it would be a very, very strange structure really okay and um, yeah as I said I could show you a lot of different micro counts here but it wouldn't really make much sense um, this is as small as we want to go in the current environment ether is much clearer on the ether chart I show you a much more detailed wave count yeah that's I mean that's my update about um, Bitcoin I hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership and if you're interested in stocks and the S&P 500, check out our stocks and S&P service that we launched last week. There are daily video updates about the S&P 500 and selected stocks and also written updates with screenshots and much more. So you can find the link in the video description. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.